This is the church itself. Graveyard. Yeah. So I'll go and get to do the travel log with Bernard in a moment. Right, Bernard. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Eddie. A lovely morning. A bit of cloud uh, at the moment, but uh, yes. it's dry and it's good to stay dry. First walk for a fortnight, but uh, we we chose well last week. <laughs> <laughs> we did, didn't we? Rained. Uh, and we're here, lovely part of the uh, world, the Winster Valley. And we've uh, we've come up here, up the Lythe Valley, and to the Brown Horse, and then we've parked here at the church. And we're going to walk uh, in this direction with the arrows, clockwise. And it's, it's got a bit of everything, this walk. Uh, views and pastoral. And it's uh, six miles, Eddie. Usual six miles. But it's about a thousand feet of climbing as well. So <coughs> we'll be ready for our tea. And a snooze if you're anything like me. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Very good. We better get going. Okay. <laughs> so here we are, all gathered up, ready to go. And Roy's joined us, which is good. So we're now uh, ten of us. A nice little cottage. All done up. Is that the little village school? <laughs> 1849, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you remember it being built? You remember it being built? Oh, you were. The old yeah. schoolhouse. 1849. You were in the primary school. <laughs> yes, it's the old Winster School. Winster you can school, see that. 1849. Fantastic. Yeah. Those were the days. You know, the Americans don't have anything like this. <laughs> they do. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> Way out west. Looks as if it's now used as a Holy community centre. Tea, coffee, soup, homemade cakes, right. Yeah, it's used part of the as part of the church now. We've got uh, tables and chairs. Yeah. And the old fireplace. Another view of the church there. Just a view across the valley. See the big house over there. What a lovely sight. Yeah, just a view of the local wildlife. <laughs> Some sheep grazing. Very brown is this field. It looks as if it's been burnt after it's been cut. Now this looks very nice. Private lake. Fed by the stream. lake again and uh, we're walking up the dr main drive to the big house which you can see in the distance and it looks as if there's a lot of work going on up here a couple of vans and diggers and dumpers and the like We've just climbed up this track, very steep, for about a quarter of a mile and uh, it's levelled out a bit now. We're heading up through the bracken, through the scrub, through the trees, mountain ash full of berries.
Uh, you can see the track ahead. I think there's some more climbing to do yet. Closing down for now. Oh, the path has opened up now, the track. You can see, see the views now. Looking over towards the Lakeland Hills. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, that looks a bit like, yes. Uh, that's the Langdale Valley up there. Yeah, I can recognise it by the crags. Yeah, but the rest I'm not sure what they are. Oh, closing down again. That's the view over Winster Valley. This is the valley a good few years ago that the water board wanted to flood. Now way in the distance I can just see there we are Ingleborough. It's just if it comes into focus there we are Ingleborough. And panning round you just see it's full of scrub. And as we're going down this path, still going down. Walking down this path now. Just spanning around. It's all under rubbish. And that's what they've done particularly with that ticket. A fallen tree there. Yeah. The, 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 they've dished that up as a gloom and doom story. And they're still doing so, and it'll run and run till September because the consultation's been extended to yeah. September. It's dead easy, easy coffee. Is he New York? He's panning round. New York on telly? No. I, I sold him watch. You know, coming over the border. Uh, See a piece of rock over there, the sticking out of the down. ground. Putting them on buses <laughs> and sending them to New York. And they're getting off the bus in New York. What, like, sort of like refugees? Yeah. Like, sort of like sending your kid over yeah, and out of the Looking down the valley. The woods there, it's very quiet, it's lovely. We haven't seen anybody at all. And the police came and said, Oh, your four years is up. Clear off. <laughs> so he went to Cali and came over here in the building. Peter and Brian there. He's panning around a few sheep. That's our residence. Oh, yeah. Charles, Charles, always you take the high road, road, we'll take yeah. the low road. You see him, the worst is killed in Scotland, the worst is killed anywhere else. Overlooking Coniston Old Man in the distance. I'll bring it a bit closer. A fair bit of climbing. There we are. Well, I think. I've got a horrible feeling that we'll probably go downhill again. The mountain ash here, there are loads of berries on. But we're not going through this gate, although it is a footpath, we're carrying straight on. Bracken, Bracken as high as your waist. Tick country. Just another view of looking down the valley. I'm not talking about that, it's just another issue that makes pasture land sheep grazing. And we are panning round. We are walking down this road looking for somewhere to dine. Now, how's this for a bridge? Don't fall in, Bernard. <laughs> 
Steady as you go. Go on, Peter, I'm waiting for someone to fall in. <laughs> Hello! All safely across, as long as I do. This is uh, our lunch stop where we had lunch. We're just finished now and beginning to get ready to uh, walk off. There's Bernard folding up his seat. I'm just scanning around to see what there is further up. The house up there looks quite a big house too and a road and a farm. So that's uh, probably where we're heading I think up to the farm. Bye for now. Yeah, the first style of the day. So let's have a look at your style, Roy. You're getting over the style. the leaves off. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It goes across that. Roy is the first one over. Yeah. And the books to allow the uh, the 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 and now Graham's going over. You break up the concrete and the pavement. You don't even stupid. quicker when you've got a council that causes more work. Stupid, stupid, about stupid council. And Bernard. Oh, we must protect the insects and the bees and the ants and things. No, they don't let like you build on the green belt land. <laughs> no, it's this, it's this green chap, is he? Now, oh, Peter. Well, they're right, they're green, and they're violent, there's lots of questions, but no answers. Okay, Adam's. Oh, we've done a minute. Well done. Ah, can't get boots in there. It's narrow, ain't it? Yeah. Obviously. Well, Stephen going over. The trouble is, when you're tall, you've got big boots, and big boots don't fit those. They don't fit in the train, though, do they? Farm labourers in the old days just well, smell a lot smaller than the smell a very evocative. Okay. So now, now the other Peter. Um, no, years He's got another foot he'll slide right. through but and, um, in the field, it's not the farmer's field, field opposite where I used to be. Yeah. Helping the farmer. I've probably got a fork or a rake. Everyone so far over safely. Just me now. A fine looking cockerel there. <laughs> along with his harem. And a few lambs down there and a tup. You're on the road. Yeah, Ingles, but Ingles is about two pounds for two hundred, isn't it? Just panning round. Lovely, beautiful countryside. Rolling hills, <coughs> lovely. And we're heading downhill again, down to the bottom there. And then get some more hills over there. And there's Peter taking a look at the view. Back onto the farm. <laughs> yeah, a stampede of sheep. We frighten them all, they don't want to know us. Second style of the day. Not a very good one. Long drop. And then this dodgy little bridge to go over the back. Burn it safely over.
Come on, Peter, you can do it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no, you're not being, you're not being filming me, oh, no. <laughs> you're so, so. <laughs> Poor old man. Okay. Everybody safely. Nice looking herd of uh, cows here and calves. And what a lovely colour they are. Yeah, I think I'm not sure. They're not, no, they're not. They're, they're not, 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 not full jerseys. No, they're not jerseys. They could be. I don't know. They're a beef cow, aren't they? Yeah, they're a beef cow. What? What does a beef cow mean? Well, it means that they're raised for the. On the hillside over there, trees and shrubs, and just down here with this looks like an ash tree. It's growing in the uh, what used to be a barn, which is now ruins. And we're walking down this lane. Then up the other side is quite steep. And again, shrubs, bracken and trees. To another farmstead. Looks like another farm that's been ceased to be a farm and now become another country residence from someone out of a city. You see the distinct chimney pots or chimneys which is uh, I think unusual to the lakes. They're round and very very sturdy it's so that the wind can go around them instead of blowing at them and blowing them off. Quite a good idea. Get a better view there of the uh, round chimneys. And that looks like another old farmstead that's been shut down. Because round here they're doing a barn conversion. And up there is a lodge. Just come across another little town on the top of the hill. We're only about uh, half a mile from the finish of the walk. And this looks very nice. I'm just panning round a bit. And that in the distance, we're wondering. I think it's probably Gummer's How. And there's Roy walking down the track. I think because they put the extra. Almost back to where we started. The town in the bottom. And then further up the hill, there you can see the big house where we walked up the lane to at the start of the walk. Just approaching the whole school and the church. And the car's just round the corner. Lovely walk, a lot of ups and downs. I'm glad Bernard said that it was about a thousand feet of climbing. <laughs> I don't know how much the about bit was but <laughs> I think it was more than a thousand feet. But never mind it's been a good walk, a lovely day and sunshine and a nice breeze on the top to cool us off but we're all tired we'll go to sleep in the cars I guess. Uh, thank you everyone for coming and bye for now.